Hello students. Today we will study oscillations and waves. So first we will learn about the periodic motion. So periodic motion is a motion which repeats itself over and over again after a regular interval of time is called periodic motion. Just like a child is on a swing. So the motion of a child on a swing is a periodic motion. Next is the oscillatory motion. Oscillatory or vibratory motion is that motion in which a body moves to and fro or back and froth repeatedly about a fixed point in a definite time interval. Next we will learn about simple harmonic motion. Simple harmonic motion it is a specific type of oscillatory motion in which a particle moves in one dimension. Then Next is the particle moves to and fro about a fixed mean position and the net force on the particle is always directed towards the mean position and the magnitude of net force is always proportional to the displacement of particle from the mean position at that instant. So here in this diagram you can see there is one uh, object of mass m and it is attached to a spring with a rigid support so x is equals to 0 is the mean position and when it is moved at uh, to a distance x is equals to a so what happens a force is applied on the object so the magnitude of net force as is always proportional to the displacement of the particle from the mean position at that instant. So F net will be equal to minus Kx. It is always proportional to the displacement. Displacement is X. Now K is force constant. Also we know that force is equal to mass into acceleration. So mass into acceleration is equal to minus Kx. Here now a is equals to minus k upon m into x or a is equals to minus omega square x. Omega is the angular frequency. So we can write d2x upon dt square that is acceleration. d2x upon dt square double differentiation of displacement of particle will give you acceleration is equals to minus omega square x. So this equation is called as the differential equation of simple harmonic motion. Now the general expression for xt satisfying the above equation is xt is equals to a sin omega t plus phi. So this is the solution, general solution for the uh, simple harmonic wave. Next some important terms. So what is amplitude? Amplitude of particle executing simple harmonic motion is its maximum displacement on either side of the mean position. Next is the time period. Time period of a particle executing simple harmonic motion is the time taken to accomplish one cycle and is denoted by capital T. Time period is equal to 2 pi upon omega that is 2 pi root over of m upon k where omega is equal to root m upon k. Next is the frequency. The frequency of a particle executing simple harmonic motion is equal to the number of oscillations completed in one second. It is denoted by nu. Nu is equal to omega upon 2 pi that is equal to 1 upon 2 pi root over of k upon m. Next phase the phase of a particle executing simple harmonic motion at any instant is its state as regard to its position and direction of motion at that instant. It is measured as argument or angle of sign in equation of simple harmonic motion. So phase is equals to omega t plus phi. At t is equals to 0, phase is equals to phi. That is initial phase of the particle or the phase constant. Here there is one correction omega is equals to k upon m.
next some important relations first is the position if the mean position is at origin the position x coordinate depends on time in general as x t is equals to sin omega t plus phi at mean position x is equals to 0 and at extreme x is equals to plus a or minus a so this is the position uh, of the simple uh, harmonic motion particle executing simple harmonic motion then the velocity here you can see at in any instant t vt is equals to a omega cos omega t plus phi so this is diagram for velocity now some important formula of simple harmonic motion displacement in simple harmonic at any instant is given by y is equals to a sin omega t or y is equals to a cos omega t where a is the amplitude and omega is the angular frequency so we know that the these waves can be called uh, sine wave and also can be called a cos wave because if you draw uh, the amplitude versus time or velocity versus time for a wave you will get sine wave or a cos wave and the shape will be the same next topic is energy in a simple harmonic motion so consider a spring mass system on a frictionless surface let the amount of energy required to stretch the string through a distance dx be the work done dw if f is the force applied then dw will be equals to f dx this force is balanced by the restoring force fs which has same magnitude as f that is force is equals to re modulus of restoring force fs is equals to kx Therefore, energy required to elongate the spring through a distance will be equal to the work done. Work done is equal to integrating uh, dW from 0 to x. Now, integration of kx dx from 0 to x will give you as k is constant. So, it is integration of x dx from 0 to x. It is kx square by 2. So, this energy is stored in the form of potential energy as u is equal to 1 by 2 kx square. Next is the equation of displacement that is x is equal to a cos omega t plus phi. So, u is equal to 1 by 2 k a square cos square omega t plus phi. Now, similarly at t is equal to 0 if t is 0. So, u is equal to 1 by 2 k a square cos square phi. As the mass is released, it moves towards the equilibrium position when potential energy gets converted into kinetic energy of the mass at any instant of the time is given by 1 by 2 mv square. Now substituting expression for v is equals to a omega sin omega t plus phi. So kinetic energy will be given by 1 by 2 m a square omega square sin square omega t plus phi. Now k is equals to m omega square which is constant. So, k is equals to 1 by 2 k a square within the bracket 1 minus cos square omega t plus phi bracket close. Now, kinetic energy is equals to 1 by 2 k a square minus 1 by 2 k a square cos square omega t plus phi. Opening the bracket we get this. Now, kinetic energy is equals to 1 by 2 k a square minus 1 by 2 k x square instead of x uh, cos square omega t plus phi a square we have written x square now kinetic energy is equals to 1 by 2 k a square minus x square now at equilibrium position that is x is equals to 0 kinetic energy is maximum that is 1 by 2 k a square when we add kinetic energy and potential energy we get total energy e at instant t so e is equals to kinetic energy plus potential energy now E is equals to 1 by 2 k a square cos square omega t plus phi plus sin square omega t plus phi. So, E is equals to 1 by 2 k a square cos square theta plus cos square, sin square theta is equals to 1. So, in ideal case, when there is no displaced the dissipation of uh, energy, so this is the uh, energy versus time graph. So, this is, uh, this is the curve for potential energy the darker one and the dotted one is the uh, is the kinetic energy 
so whenever the potential energy increases the kinetic energy decreases and vice versa next here you can see energy versus displacement graph so this is uh, potential energy and this is kinetic energy and here in this x axis there is displacement next topic is simple pendulum so simple pendulum consists of a point mass heavy uh, mass which is suspended from a rigid support by means of an elast elastic in extensible string now consider a mass uh, of point mass or bob and that is m suspended by elastic in extensible string length of the string is l from a rigid support as the bob is displaced through angle theta from the equilibrium so this is the equilibrium position from the equilibrium position the restoring force due to the weight mg sets in along the arc so it it moves in the um, circular type of uh, periodic motion so it has it sets the arc the gravitational force mg is resolved into radial components here we will get the radial components because it is not the linear motion mg cos theta and tangential component that is mg sin theta the radial component is balanced by the tension in the string and the tangential component produces a restoring force acting along arc using newton's second law of motion m d to s upon dt square is equals to minus mg sin theta here s is the distance of arc measured from its mean position negative sign indicates the force acts along the mean position if l is the length of string then we have angle is equals to arc upon radius so theta is equals to s upon l s is the uh, displacement from the mean position and l is the radius of the uh, length of the string so s is equals to l theta now differentiating now in this equation m d2 upon dt square of l theta instead of s we are writing this so it is equals to minus mg sin theta so m is cancelled by m and we have length is also constant d2 theta upon dt square is equals to minus g sin theta or d2 theta upon dt square is equals to minus g upon l on cross multiplying l sin of theta now for small angles sin theta is equal to theta so d2 theta upon dt square is equals to minus g theta which resembles as omega square is equals to g upon l the motion of a simple pendulum is simple harmonic only so general solution of d2 theta upon dt square is equals to minus g upon l into theta can be written as theta is equals to theta maximum cos omega t plus phi then theta maximum is equals to angular uh, is equal to maximum angular displacement omega is the angular frequency that is equals to root over of g upon l and time period of motion will be given by t is equals to 2 pi l upon g next is free oscillation the free oscillation possesses constant amplitude and period without any external force to set the oscillation ideally free oscillation does not undergo damping now what are damped oscillation the damping is the resistance offered to the oscillation oscillations the oscillation that fades with time is called damped oscillation due to damping the amplitude of oscillation reduces with time so this is the uh, amplitude versus uh, time graph for a um, damped oscillations next are the forced oscillations so when a body oscillates by being influenced by an external periodic force is called force oscillation here the amplitude of oscillation experiences damping but remains constant due to external energy supplied to the system next is the resonance so resonance is the condition that when the oscillation of object uh, with maximum amplitude and when the frequency of applied force is equal to the natural frequency of object then the condition is called the